Good afternoon everyone. Welcome back to Butler Family Farm. Jerry here and I'm going to rototill the place where we're going to put the bee garden for the bees have uh, flowers next year and they can just have had all the nectar they want. So this is where it's going to go and it's going to go all the way back to where almost that fence back there. I'm going to leave a a little piece of strip on each side then the fence so we can get a lawnmower in there just to mow but we want to go all the way over to here so this is like 2700 square feet area that we're going to do and i'm going to roll till right up here to this tree here this line right here so uh, we got the road tower put on the back of the, the tractor and now it's the time to do a uh, Start rototilling to get this ground. We had a little bit of rain last night, a quarter inch, which to make the ground just soft enough to rototill it. So this is the before picture. The meat chickens aren't too uh, happy with their noisy uh, neighbors in the construction zone. Jerry made, um, I'm going to say about 15 passes over this area, and uh, he's going to go back through, but it's going to be a pretty good sized flower garden once uh, we get everything planted in. This is a, a metal that we found in the dirt as we brought, as we took the road to our class. Not sure what everything is, but this area where we're putting this garden is uh, part of a dump site. We have a theory that there's a car buried on the other side of Simon's pen. This is what we're planting. How much is it? 50 pounds? 50 pounds. No, 5 pounds. 5 pounds and we're going to plant it out here in this garden. And you probably should go with the wind. Yeah. What it looks like Take after we're done. Just um, rake it over top of it. Lightly. Go push down. Put thorns over. Put What it looks like after we're rototillered, rototillered it. And also we raked, uh, rock raked areas where it was higher in one place. And as it's, you know, it's not a professional garden, it's not uh, up for a, uh, what do you call it, a uh, contest or any of that kind of stuff. So it's for our bees, and I think they'll be happy. We're expecting rain uh, next week, so that'll help a lot. And uh, we'll show you progress as things start coming up. It won't be growing, it'll start growing a little bit, but... It'll really take full force in, in the spring. spring in the springtime, right? So Good morning, Simon. Part two of our bee garden will be in this area. We've got um, this bundle of wood and 
some scrap metal and pieces, concrete, um, and a lot, a lot of weeds to get cleaned up. But it should be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, about 60 feet long out to that post or a bit just shy of that. Because each one of these um, T posts are about 10 feet apart. I may be off. This is one of the first fences that we put up, so um, my measurement be off. But it's going to be at least 50 feet long, and um, these grain bins will be moved out of the way. Um, we've got a finishing mower. Uh, this is an old um, cedar that we've collected, and of course our manure wagons on the other side. So there's a little bit of work more to do, but this is part two. Um, it should uh, should be really pretty um, once it all gets in and all those wildflowers are growing. So we will keep you updated on the progress of part two. It's a little windy, so the bees haven't come out yet. Simon's behind me. If I get closer to the fence, he'll ears went down. Ears went up. Earlier, I was standing get toward closer to the fence. He actually stuck his head over the back and uh, gave me a tap. Hey, everyone. Well, I guess I found where all our rock is at. All our rock's over here. You know, we had no rock in place else at the property. I bet I found a lot of rock over here, but here it is. It's all planted, raked slightly so the seeds get in the ground. I probably put three pounds out here. So, uh, it's, you know, we'll have to wait till it comes up to see how good it is. But I appreciate you guys watching. And I will show you next spring when it comes up how many flowers there is. And I'll take some pictures of the flowers when they're up and open too. Thanks a lot for coming to Butler Family Farm. Until next time, be, be safe, God bless you, and see you on the next video.